Uh, how's it going, bro? What's your name? Uh, my name's uh, Alexander. Alexander? W where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from uh, Miami. Miami? Yeah. Oh, wow. From Florida. I uh, grew up over there. Pretty decent life. Uh, suburbia and all that. But originally, I'm uh, also from Overtown. I uh, still have family members there and stuff like that. So all right. that's where my mom first uh, came here. That's the neighborhood that we're living in. So um, she got my biological father ended up, I don't know, going to prison. And then uh, my stepfather got with her and, you know, they got married. And then she relocated to another spot, and Kendall and stuff like that. So. So, so when they got a divorce, huh? Uh, not a, uh, what, my uh, biological and all that? Yeah. No, nah, they weren't really, like, I don't think they got, uh, they got married, technically. I don't know. I don't know if they got married or not. I don't think they did. Uh, but she did get married to my stepfather, so that seems to have worked out for them and stuff like that. So you grew up with a stepfather? Yeah. At first it was rough, I mean, you know, I understand, you know, um, now that I'm a man and all that, and I've been uh, with an ex-girlfriend ex -ex that she had, like, kids of her own that weren't mine, I kind of understand how he looked at me, like, oh, there's somebody else's kid and stuff like that, you know, that's how you look at it at first, but then the kids grow on to you, and, you know, you give them love, and, and you uh, basically look at them as your own, and... Um, I didn't understand that at first, you know, until you like mature and you grow up and you realize, okay, you know, it's this is what he probably went through, and so I understand him now, and uh, you know, that's pretty much it. I mean, it was uh, it's a decent home. Uh, yeah, he couldn't you couldn't do it, break the rules, that's for sure, because he ruled. He ruled the house with a iron fist, that's for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> but he was a good father. I mean, he ever whooped or beat you or something? Oh, I'm constantly. Constantly <laughs> beat you? Yeah, I mean, but I'm hard headed. Like, wow. I, I deserved it a lot of times because uh, wow. I'm hard to deal with. <laughs> I'm hard headed, so I admit wow. that. Uh, but all, all in all, he was, you know, I had a decent life. I had a decent life. You uh, graduate high school? Uh, I got kicked out in the 10th grade. I was supposed to. Uh, I ended up going to Job Corps Center, and uh, that went pretty pretty well, actually. And uh, I completed everything, came back, got back ahead of time. So I, I didn't know that he wanted me to stay there for a little longer. So uh, I, I ended up uh, going to school, and I was working also, I believe. What did you get kicked out of school for, bro? Uh, I'm sorry? What did you get kicked out of school uh, for? Got into a humongous fist fight in the, in the yeah, yeah. You know, boys be boys and stuff like that. It was, uh, this was like a little bit after uh, Hurricane Andrew. So, like, big cultural clash, you know, uh, the Hispanics and the blacks, you know, and oh, wow. <laughs> we were just duking it out, you know, and, uh, that's it, you know what I mean? They got, they called in the SWAT team and the <laughs> helicopters and all that. And I got blamed for that. And <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, and I could have came, I, I should have, I wanted to stay there because my, my school had like the number one football team in the nation. I mean, I, where I'm from, it's like a hotbed for you football. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that was decent, you know. <laughs> a little wrestling, oh, yeah. a little uh, wrestle a little bit. Uh, Track the field here and there, you know, but ah, that was a slacker. I admit it. <laughs> uh, what did you do after Job Corps, man? After Job Corps, I just got a. Uh, I ended up getting a job at a factory. I think I was welding. We were like welding dumpsters for the city, and uh, it was a decent job and stuff. Not. A job that I loved or anything, you know, a job's a job, but uh, it, it was a, it was decent, it was decent pay. Uh, I was on my own, I had my own place. I was only 19 at the time, and uh, that's pretty much it. But I, I've always been like, I can't stay indoors that long. Like I would like just stare at the wall for a while and then 
up and out. <laughs> so, what, what did you do after that? Uh, after that, I believe I ended up uh, I ended up working at a office. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I ended up uh, doing sales and stuff like that, and it went pretty well. I was there for like about three, almost four years, until I guess my bosses were doing some stuff that <laughs> they got in trouble for and like the marshals came and they closed down the company and yeah it was like boiler room i don't know if you ever seen that that movie uh yeah they were like selling we were sh selling insurance program uh, packages and stuff like that uh -huh. I, I, my bosses were making a kelly i don't know they, they were writing they were living good it, it looked like because they they had the big cars and the houses and all that. I, I just lived a regular life and stuff, so I had a Saturn and shit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was good. It was decent. A lot of chicks there. Nailed half of them. <laughs> but uh, everything went well. And then um, then after that, everything went down downhill because I got in trouble. So I had, to, had a end up going to uh, do a little bit of a time for uh, uh, I think it was it wasn't even I don't remember I think it was a uh, armed robbery or something like that uh, they were trying to blame me for some crap and uh, I had to fight the case and uh, big, big old mix up uh, when I got out uh, I met you know my ex XXX and um, she had, you know, she's the one that I was telling you about that she had three kids and all that. So I ended up uh, hooking up with her, uh, pen pals, actually. That's how I met her first, <laughs> mainly through the letters. And then uh, finally met her face to face. Things went all right. And uh, I ended up getting a job, I believe, at a window factory, and, uh, doing installation for windows and stuff like that. And, from there, I think my next job was uh, aviation. I got blessed with that, and I ended up working in, on airplanes, landing gear equipment, and stuff like that for a couple of years. Cool. That was pretty good. Uh, but again, I got myself in some trouble, so I had to take a, uh, a layoff because I was going to jail, and uh, it's like that, and basically. So, how did you become homeless, man? Uh, just uh, uh, job availability uh, it was very hard in Florida. Florida was like very, basically no jobs. I mean, it's a you know they rely a lot on tourism. It's not like up north that you know we're a little bit more industrial up here and stuff compared to them. And uh, it's just it, it was tough, you know. Uh, Again, I got myself in some jams, so I ended up doing, uh, I think I was on probation, I violated, so they uh, took me in. Uh, that was in Broward County. By the time I got out, you know, I had a place in Hollywood. Uh, I ended up losing the spot, so by the time I got out, I was like, that's it, I lost everything. I had to start all over again. And, and then my wife, ex uh, my wife ended up getting in trouble up here so I was like you know what let me go up north and find her and you know at least when she gets released or whatever she has a friendly face somebody that she knows and that she's not by herself totally so uh, that's basically it uh, and we've been here ever since and I've seen certain, you know this city has changed a lot it's calmed down it's, it's good now uh, in the beginning it was it was hecty and it was good good and bad but are you cleaning this over, bro? Uh, right now I am. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I like smoking my weed. I like yeah. smoking my cigarette. I like having my drink. I used to drink a lot, and I stopped that a lot. Uh, the meth is that's probably the worst thing that I do, and that I've even slowed down on that also. Cause uh, when I first got here, I didn't know about it. I didn't grow up around the meth. You know, up, uh, down south they, they don't they don't have that you know, over there is cocaine and stuff like that and uh, the meth kind of like opened up I don't know a third eye type of thing I wasn't a big spiritual guy you know I was like everybody else just trying to make a living uh, you know uh, 
worrying about how am I gonna, you know, make ends meet and stuff like that, and keep my wife off the streets and myself, and and then uh, uh, I don't know, something just opened up that I started seeing things that I hadn't seen since I was a kid, and um, you know, basically, that's, you know, nobody. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like I tell her some of the things, and she'll be like, "Nah, that didn't happen. That's not true." I'm like, "I'm telling you, that's what happened." You got any know? plans to get clean and sober? Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. You know, uh, first thing is, uh, uh, you know, get get myself in a place, a shelter, or something, and then yeah, a little rehab. I mean, my, my rehab is is kind of different. Like me, it's just working out. That's the way I I get back. You know, everybody has their their ways get better or whatever me just working out and and it gets me back it gets me uh, motivated to uh, stay sober. You got any plans for the future any any goals? Uh, oh yeah yeah world domination no I'm playing <laughs> um, uh, just trying to try to make the trying to uh, be better be better for myself be better for my wife be better for everybody around me and uh, that's pretty much it you know Cool, man. You got any uh, quotes or any advice you want to give anybody? Um, you know, uh, they say that this falls out of style or it's gone, or, but I don't think so. It, it, it's, I mean, it, you can see it, it all over the world. I mean, uh, this it's real, you know, and, uh, and people... People are like, when I first got here, you couldn't even talk about this. Thank God that you're passing this up. Like Christ. Oh, yeah. I was made fun of and stuff like that for like, because I believed in him and stuff like yeah. that. And uh, like, but everybody was like, oh, the devil, the devil, you know? And then I'm like, yeah, the devil is cool and all, but he, he just uses you and he tosses you like a rag when he's done with you, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to Christ, he, he'll use you, he'll wash you, dry you and you're looking brand new again you know what i'm saying he doesn't get you know he doesn't throw you away like that yeah he'll use you for a greater purpose and stuff so um still you know i'm, for, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure it out i'm still trying to get better so all right cool thanks bro no no problem bro